Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So this is probably the most excited I've been to share a video with you guys. And it is a view of the homeschool room. And it's been finished for a little bit now, but I'm kind of a perfectionist and I'm just kind of like, oh, well, I should do this before I film. and Oh, I should do that before I film. And it's just like a done something is better than a perfect nothing. So we're rolling with it. So like my walls, we actually had to have a bunch of our bricks redone. So you'll see them. And that is because a lot of them were falling apart because this house is pretty old. And when they were doing it, they realized that um, the bricks were letting in water and that's why the drywall was practically crumbling <laughs> so they said that we have to have just the bricks for at least a year to make sure that there are no cracks and water being let in or anything like that and then after that we can move forward with putting drywall down here and i just kind of like hate the way the walls look but yeah it's been a few months now and i'm like i can't keep putting up the new video or I can't keep putting off the video until the walls are done. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so um, I'm doing the tour for you guys. And Kareem actually waxed the floor the other days because the floors were another thing that were driving me insane because every single time I mopped, the second it dried, it just looked all dusty and dingy and gross again. So he did wax them. Now they're all pretty and shiny, which makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, without further ado, let's just jump right in. I'm kind of just going to give you guys like an overview. Um, so this is basically what it all looks like. Um, so here's just the kids play area. We're probably going to switch these letter tiles out for like some gymnastic mats or something where they can actually like throw themselves and be crazy. Um, but yeah, there's their little easel, their little bucket of toys, that kind of stuff. So this is like their play area, you could say. And then over here is the reading nook room section, whatever word you'd prefer to use it. Okay. So if you guys watch my, or if you guys follow my Instagram account, we already had this couch. I just bought the couch cover for it. Um, on Amazon and so we I just put it on over I actually had these two rainbow pillows already um, so I just thought it would add a nice pop of color and then this I actually got at Target in the dollar section it says so many books so little time I thought that was very very cute I'll probably have like a little basket or something for like blankets or whatever so that way everyone can get comfy cozy um, the stool is just here really for mommy um, so if I have like a coffee or something while we're reading, I can put it on there. This carpet, very, very cute. We actually got it from our next door neighbor. So they're renovating their house. So they were getting rid of a bunch of stuff and she asked if I wanted this. And I was like, heck yes, it'd be perfect for downstairs. So it's a cute little farm base. Bing bag chairs we got at Target in the college dorm room section. So they're actually made for adults and they're pretty freaking comfy. Um, and these pillows were again in the dollar section. So it just has the alphabet on one side and the back says, now I know my ABCs next time, what you sing with me? Totes adorbs. Ooh. And then over here is my Billy bookcase. I did order this from Ikea. This was one of the new things that we got for down here. And the nice thing about this is that you can add on. So as we get more books, we can add more shelves, which is very nice. I obviously don't have that many right now, but I'm not really worried about it because I know these shelves will be filled very quickly. So this is just, I actually got this at Costco. Um, so it's all 16 of the world rolled doll books um and it was like 30 dollars, i believe so this is a very nice purchase from costco this i actually got on thriftbooks.com and it's the all of the books in the chronicles of narnia series and this cover is just super freaking cool so i just have that there down here we just have his um oh both of their um billy books is that what they're called but Bob books, not Billy. <laughs> Bob books. 
Um, and then they also have some other Hooked on Phonics books. Um, I can read books about animals. And then the Fall Festival and Pete and the Cat. So that's just what's on here for now. Down here, I didn't know where to put these exactly, so I just kind of stuck them down here. But this one is the first 100 words in Espanol. So as I talked about in my other video, I want to make sure that my kids are bilingual. And sometimes cards like, or books like this really help them remember things um, because they're very visual kids. So this will help them remember the English and the Spanish word for it, which I think is nice. And then this one, um, we are going to be doing Poetry Tea Time, and this is the book that we're going to be starting off with. So it's Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein, which is a very exciting. This is just a copy, cardboard copy of Corduroy. Um, this, we got a little while ago from them, but I brought it on down here. It's the little engine that could. And then down here is just random books. So we're going on a bear hunt, classic tale of Peter Rabbit, where the wild things are. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog. The Kissing Hand, this was actually one of my favorite books when I was a kid. My mom would read it to us and it was one of my favorite books. Uh, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom and Madeline. So that's all we have in our collection for now. But like I said, I'm not really too concerned about it because I know that these shelves will fill very quickly. And then up here, um, these are just some little teacups I have, because like I said, we are gonna be doing poetry tea time. So I do have these. They're technically made for espresso, um, but it's fine, we have them anyway. Uh, Cause I want the kids to practice handling glass cups and stuff with this before we move on to these very fancy ones over here. Um, these were actually Kareem's grandmother. So they're fine china um, and they're gold rimmed. It has a whole set. So it comes with eight tea cups, eight tea plates, bigger plates, dessert plates, like a serving platter and then something else I can't think of. But yeah, so I want them to practice with these before we move on to the fancy ones. And then up here, I ordered this on Amazon actually, and it's just a glass teacup, um, or a glass teapot, sorry. <clears throat> and it's just a glass teapot that can go on the stove if you want it to. Um, so you can put tea or whatever your heart desires in there. Um, I don't think we're gonna start off with tea right away. It might be like <laughs> lemonade poetry time, but we'll see how it goes. But that is the pot that I did get for that. Swing over here. Uh, so just for now, I put on there a quote that I saw and it says, and so they created a homeschool they loved. And I thought that was such a beautiful quote. So I did write that on the chalkboard for now. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to use the chalkboard yet for. I'm thinking they might maybe like memory things or I'm not really sure, so. But we do have the chalkboard that's nice and secure to the wall, which makes me feel very nice. So this is a record player. I don't know what year it is, but it's a Sears by Silvertone. Um, so we'll have like some, you know, classical music or whatever playing in the background during certain parts of school. This was actually Kareem's grandmother's again, and we do have a bunch of records that go with it as well. This one is the Claire de Lune, um, which I absolutely love. But yeah, so this is a nice little addition as well. And then over here, I just have an abacus. Um, I didn't know where else to put it, so it's here for now. <laughs> Same with this. I found it at Michael's and I thought it was absolutely adorable and I didn't want to pass it up, but I also don't know where to hang it yet. So <laughs> for now, we're just sitting on top of this, um, these two uh, cabinets. These are actually extra cabinets um, that were already down here and I just decided to add them to the classroom. I could like find like a universal what is it called? Like the vinyl that goes over it. So they're the same color, but I mean, is it that big of a deal? Not really. And it is nice to have extra storage as well. And then up here I have a diffuser cause I had a million upstairs. I figured I might as well bring one down along with some of my favorite oils. And then up here on this vent, just to kind of like decorate it a little bit, I did get these ABC um, 
clothespins, again, they were in the Target dollar spot, so it's A through Z, which I thought was very cute. These posters I got mostly because, as I discussed at the beginning of the video, I hate the way the walls look, so I wanted to disguise the walls a little bit. So it is a world, you okay? It is a world map and then um, some sight words for one and two. And then here is our morning basket. Um, we, I will be adding a few other books to it, but I do also want to read Charlotte's Web to them. We'll be reading a chapter in this. Um, so this is my oldest kindergarten binder. Um, so it's from the Gentle and Classical Preschool. Um, so he has all of this to do in the morning. And the letters do change every week, um, but I still put it in sheet protectors regardless. Um, so that's my oldest and then he did pick purple for his binder which is pretty funny because it ended up matching the cover page of the uh, kindergarten binder. Um, and this one's for my two-year-old. Um, so again it's very similar to his brother's just a little bit different. Um, but yeah so those are their two morning binders that we will start school with every morning. So just have them chilling up here. And then over here I have all of the fun stuff. So all the crayons, dry erase markers, regular markers, glue, colored pencils, scissors, glue sticks, there's tape, pencil sharpener, erasers. And these are Ticonderoga pencils. Um, and they're actually called My First. So they're thicker than regular pencils, which, um, yes, baby? Sure, honey. Um, which is actually makes it a lot easier for them to grasp. So on the shelf I just have some of their or their curriculum and some of these bins. I did get the bins again at the Target Dollar Swap. That's basically my favorite place in the world. <laughs> um, so this is just their arts and crafts activity book that I talked about in one of my last videos. Um, their art and music curriculum, their Simply Spanish curriculum. So down here are three sketchbooks, one for each of us for when we do our nature walks or nature journaling. Um, over here is their Arabic curriculum and then both of my preschoolers books and then my kindergartners math, reading, and sight works workbooks. And down here I just have some math manipulatives. Um, those are also very exciting. Um, we'll use rulers anytime soon, but I got them these cool dinosaur rulers that are also um, a slap bracelet. Uh, so they roll up, which I thought was so cute. Um, so I did get those and those are in there as well. Up here is their Play-Doh. I do have to add their tools to it and stuff, but I knew that if they saw it, they would just want to play with it and then mess up all their <laughs> Play-Doh. So trying to hold off on them. Um, down here is a little clock and all of its accoutrements from learning resources so that way they can learn how to tell time on both a digital and an analog clock. Um, here we just have extra paper and then down there is my laminator and my extra sheets. And then right over here we have this cart that I got from Michaels. I do only have one labeled because I decided that I don't know if I'm going to keep everything where it is. So I didn't want to like label it and then take it off and then relabel it. So it has one label for now. But there's some uh, sheet protectors, some arts and crafts stuff, their paint stuff, um, more random things, construction paper, um, some more Spanish stuff, um, some folders and clipboards, and then the bottom ones are basically empty. And so that's my little wheel cart that I have there and that's how I'm utilizing that for now. And then again, we have this chair. I just got a chair protector for it. Um, this rug was actually our living room rug, but we got a new living room rug and brought this one down here. I shampooed it a few times. Now it looks so much better. <laughs> These chairs we already had, um, they're just like white plastic foldable chairs that you know you'd have like at a picnic or something and then this table it's actually really big I don't really know if you can tell how big it actually is on video but I got this on Facebook marketplace for 15 bucks and it's easily a five foot diameter I believe it's massive so the fact that I found 
this huge table for $15 was such a steal that I was very happy with. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously things will change um, and I'll update you guys as those things happen, but I really do like what the basement has turned into. I do have a few before shots that I want to add in so you guys can see the disaster <laughs> that I was dealing with beforehand. Um, but yeah, it's come a very long way and I'm glad it has turned into what it is and I'm excited for it to get even better. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.